Hello guys and welcome to this wicked episode where we'll be showing you and comparing you two awesome cameras, the Canon M50 and the Canon M100. Do not go anywhere because in this particular video I will be showing you exactly why both these cameras are still awesome, what they can both do, simple it down for you so it just shows you how simple and easy to use both these cameras are and do not go away because I'm going to bring you absolute value. Do not go anywhere. You want to get value from this video getting value so far from today's video don't forget to like and subscribe and why not buy some coffee and that supports everything we do here on the channel the canon m100 also I'll say the canon m50 is an absolutely awesome camera this mirrorless camera 24 megapixel is a great camera it really is an all-round a great first camera and this is technically the younger or technically the older brother of its replacement the the, uh, the mark ii of the m50 which is a great little camera um, and why do i like this camera well it's great it has interchangeable lenses which i'll show you right now you just press the button there see if you can just see that and it just gradually comes off let's not break the lens and it comes with a 15 to 45 mil kit lens which is really nice and obviously being an interchangeable um camera you can change that at any point as i'm just going to gently put it back on because i don't want to damage the camera because this is basically our powerhouse this is the the workhorse of TVR creators. I still use this camera week in, week out to make all our head VOs, and it does so much video with this camera. And I've had this down for about two or three years, and it's a great camera. It has a really nice flip screen, which is really easy to use. Turns on on the top, as you can see there, there it is. <laughs> And to start it, you just move the lens forward, you put it into position, and off you go. And what's really cool about that is you can turn around. It's a great touchscreen, easy to use, um, and very intuitive. And you can play around with all the shutter speed, the ISO, and all the little settings. But what I love about this is, to be honest, because I come from a background of point-and-shoot camcorders and stuff like that, I tend to just put it into video mode, boop, 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 and off I go. Now it does have auto mode, as you can see on there, camera mode, photo mode, manual mode, and all the modes that you need. And basically this camera is just ready for you. What I like about this camera is definitely get yourself a tripod. A tripod to anybody is a <laughs> creator's best friend, if you will. And uh, I love this camera for so many reasons. Um, if you're getting value so far from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And why not buy us a coffee? Links to all this in the description below. Mm. Absolute value. And just before we carry on, um, the links to the cameras I'm talking about today will be in the description, so go and check them out, and why not? Um, I just want to show you a few comparisons then. So if you've got the M100 and the M50, the M100, the white one here, and get both these in white and black, um, you can get them secondhand as well, or on Amazon, um, if you want to save yourself some money. And the M100 is basically the older brother of the M200, which is, if I'm brutally honest, is pretty much the same camera, but the Mark II of both, the M200 and the Mark II of the M50, have clean HDMI, making them useful for live streaming if you want a proper camera. Why do I still use webcam? Because, because I do. <laughs> I have no excuse. Um, but anyway, going back to the M50, I'll just show you how cool this is. It's very easy to use. It does have a mount on the top, which is really good. Um, you can put a flash on there or a microphone. And another great thing about the M50, it does have a mic jack. I don't know if you can see that there. It just comes out there. And that's very handy when you're recording indoors or recording outside. So you don't get that annoying noise, which is really, really irritating when you're recording outside. So, you know, when you get the wind and all that sort of jazz. So it's easy to use. Now, for those of you that want to want one of these for, for photos, photography, or you know, a keen hobbyist, you want something that doesn't cost the earth, you've got a nice little viewfinder there, which is really nice, old school. I must admit, I tend to use the screen in both photos and video, but it's all down to how we use this. Little power tip I'll definitely share with any of these cameras is definitely have a spare battery, or just turn it off when you're not using it, and the battery will last the day that you're using the camera. I, I found as long as you've got a full charge, these cameras are brilliant. Um, something else to uh, bear in mind, nice little touch photo button easy to record button there the red button there very easy to use and this is a great camera now you can get adapters and put bigger uh, lenses on it which is really cool and um, you can get a similar lens if you want that nice depth of field thing i'm debating about doing and what i like this camera then even you know in in the times that we are 
is because it doesn't cost the earth and yes in the time of this video there is like the r50 which is even better again but if you don't want to spend thousands and thousands on you know different cameras and stuff like that this is something to just you know something to just bear in mind when you're buying something what i like then the m100 it's a really nice camera it's very similar it's basically a smaller cousin to the m50 really it has a nice flip screen which turns up as you can see very intuitive a nice little cool feature actually because i tend to use this as my thumbnail uh camera a lot of the time I, though i have done it for photos and day trips and i have used it to make videos but what's really cool about this camera you can just tap the screen and it will take the photo and focus wherever you've pressed which is a cool little feature that i like about this camera now again it's easy to use 24 megapixel interchangeable lenses you can change it with different sometimes i swap the lenses around just to mix it up a bit um, which is really cool. Smash like if you're getting value. Mm. Absolute value then. <laughs> um, what's really cool then, it's similar sort of thing, but what's cool about this, it's even easy to use. So if you want an easy record, easy photo option, auto, it's all on the top there. Um, photo button, uh, record button, um, it's all easy to use. Nice little features on the back there, which is really, really cool. Um, what I like about this one, it's just even simpler if you want something really simple, you're not too bothered about, you know, or do you want, perhaps you just want a second camera or a hobby camera, or maybe you just want something that's separate from your phone, it doesn't cost the earth, um, you can get one of these about two, three hundred now second hand, um, obviously if you want the, the latest one you have to get the M200 which just costs about four or five hundred, and you can get a M50 now because obviously the R50 is out now, you can get some great deals on the M50 which is really cool which means you can get one of these for about 500 rather than six, 700 or whatever it was when I got it. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. And just to put it into a bit of perspective, if you will, if you were to get like the R50, that's like six, 700 plus. And if you were to get something like even more pro than that, you're talking over a thousand pounds. So, you know, when you think of this will do pretty much everything you want, um, there is like a um, unwritten rule maybe for people that don't know a lot about cameras that they think they have to get the most expensive camera and spend like three grand on a camera but the truth is you really don't these take very good photos and take great video even in the time of this video which is something to bear in mind if you want something separate from your phone isn't getting budged by social every two seconds there is a great space for these awesome mirrorless cameras that i really really love i love both these cameras for many different reasons and i use them week in week out even when i get later cameras or older cameras i just always go back to these these are like my default they're like my two favorite friends <laughs> i don't know it's a bit sad really but i just like both these cameras they're just brilliant they're easy to use and then, honestly if you've got any questions whatsoever feel free to uh, ask away um as i just show you this quick quick you want to get value from this video <laughs> Now, if you're getting value so far from the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our merch and why not buy us a coffee to support what we do. Also, we've got super chats and etc. etc. Check it out here on YouTube. Mm. Absolute value. Now, I just want to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Little uh, little pro tip here. It does have a flash that pops out the top there. And to get to the SD card on the M100, you have to pull up the uh, screen there and you just pull back that little cap. And there is your SD card, all ready to go. Where on the M50, um, it's just on the bottom, you, where you pull away where the battery is and similar sort of thing. And you might be thinking, why do I want these cameras over anything else I've looked, over the Sony's or whatever? If you don't want to spend the earth, and obviously, you know, the cost of living, everything's going up in a minute, but you still want something separate from your phone, I would highly recommend getting yourself one of these awesome cameras from Canon, because they're both absolute value. I love both these cameras. If you've got any questions whatsoever, or if I miss anything, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to help you along the way. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching, because I'm going to leave you you two end cards that I'm going to bring you absolute value and I'll see you in the next video.